Hallelujah. God bless you on this thankful Thanksgiving Thursday. Love y'all guys. Praying for you. I just got done uh, with my bike ride for today. So I'm sweating like a pig laying down a little bit. But I wanted to just uh, share with you one of the stories in the Bible talks about the Good Samaritan and how the Samaritan uh, saw a Jew that fell among thieves and he was robbed and he was stripped of his clothes and he was lying there naked on the side of the road and the uh, priest and the Levite saw them first but passed by on the other side but when the Samaritan and we know in the story of uh, the woman at the well that Samaritans didn't have anything to do with the Jews they hated each other the Jews hated the Samaritans because they felt like they were sacrilegious they took some of the traditions of uh, the Jewish uh, uh, Israelite uh, theology and mixed it with the uh, the traditions of the um, people that were not uh, Jews. Uh, they had they 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 incorporated the traditions of those people surrounded them, and the Samaritans hated the Jews because the Jews were so. Uh, they, they kept to themselves. They did not receive them. But this Samaritan was the one that came to this Jew's aid, crossing all boundaries and all color lines and all uh, stereotypes. Generally, they hated each other. But when the Samaritan saw this Jew in trouble, he came and he restored him and he paid all that he had. To make sure that that one that one person that one Jew was restored a hundred percent, and it was the church people, the priest and the Levite, that just saw what was happening, knew it was wrong, but did not render no aid. I I, I think that is the condition of the body of Christ. I don't think we can walk by and not acknowledge and not try to help. Jesus Himself said that He would leave a hundred. He would leave the 99 to go get the one that was in trouble. And just because you don't understand minorities plight does not mean that you should stand idly by when you see somebody that's naked, that has been broken and that has been battered and has been beaten and laying on the side of the road. I just pray that everyone will band together and help, help fight against racism, help fight against the uh, disproportionate uh, discrimination of people of color. And, and those that you uh, know that are in church, that we should, we should actively be involved in the local government as well as the national government and vote those corrupt people out. Amen. And I'm praying for everybody today that the healing of the nation will begin when the body of Christ comes together. And, 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 and builds up the church, all multicultural in the way that the Lord has designed it to be, and that we could all come together as one and support each other as one as Christ designed it. I pray that blesses you. I pray that your life is enriched. I pray that the glory of the Lord shines upon you. I pray that God would lift you up and protect you and your family. And that you would never suffer from discrimination and racial bias. And that you would stand up against it. And uh, that we would all fight for the truth through the grace of Jesus Christ. Love y'all guys. Bueno, bye. God bless. Peace. In Jesus' name.